Are we in this thing? Heck, y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? I've been all over the place, you know what I'm saying, today, man. I've been I've been everywhere, man. I've been dang going at the studio doing show. Now I'm made to the studio to do a show. Oh, Lord. I hear myself. Turn that off. I can hear you too, sir. You're on the TV. Okay. We back. We back on the mission. We back on the... Where my guests go? Where my go? We back on the mission to get my money, people. What it is. Hold on. Without any further ado, let's go on and do this. We got to talk about this. Bring this fella in. Him and Mary Beth both. Got these folks charging me up about this money, man. Like, like I got money to be paying these folks off, man. I, these folks, I don't got death threats and everything, man. You can go on bring this boy in here today. And, you know, come on in here, Jack. Come on in here. Come on in here. Wait a minute. That? Oh, Lord. Let's make sure I got Marvin Basic, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, man. What's good? Damn it, I can't hear you. Hold on one second. Oh, yeah. Don't move. I did it last time. Hold on. I keep doing it to myself. See, this is what we have when I... To the studio. All right, I'm back. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you too. Yeah. Can you hear about this 50 cents you owe me? Oh, that one, no. Hey, listen, before you get started, go listen. Go ahead, just double just double down. Just double down on world. Just double down. Double down. No, <laughs> this ain't this this is just water in my red cup, man. I ain't, yeah, I, ain't, down, I, ain't, man. I ain't got the table to do that just yet, man. <laughs> I don't know, Marv. I don't know, man. You're going to have to talk. You're going to have to take this time to talk and convince me why, why, I, why, I, why I don't know. I got these folks calling me about this money. First of all, welcome to the show, as yeah. always. Yeah, we appreciate yeah. you coming on the show. Okay, without any discussion, going to dive into it. Walk us through what happens. Well, it, it, it don't you do. Tell me what happened and tell me, are you satisfied with what happened? Let's start there. So for starters, for, uh, you know, for the people that don't know, that was my opener. So, you know, going in, I ain't really know. I mean, I've been training with Trey, but I don't know what type of shape I'm really in because we don't mm -hmm. really, you know, we don't all out it. So, you know, we, we, we set it up nice. Um, when we got there, you know, 652 in the heat. So I was like, okay, like, oh, I can win this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, fuck making a team. Like I can. I can win the race. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it, the moment came and I just didn't execute to the best of my abilities. So, and that's what happens when you, you know, you're messing with people who, who know what they're doing. So when you say it didn't come together, what, what you mean it didn't come together? Um, I just didn't execute like uh, a full 60, how I'm capable of, and I didn't run the best race I could run. And I mean, that's what happens when you, you know, you don't execute. Mm -hmm. So, so let me ask you this then. So basically, you you feel like it was a decent race, but it wasn't your best race. Yeah, I mean, I equal my personal best. You know, I ran six forty eight, so equal my personal best. And I was like, you know what? Like, all in all, like I, I didn't like you know if I'd have, if I'd have made the team and ran six fifty three, six fifty four, I'd have been like, ah, all right, we got a lot to work on. But we talking about you know the fine now we talking about fine tuning. We ain't talking about you know a bunch of big things that make up you know, a bad race. We're talking about a bunch of little things that, you know, if something this small goes right, we're talking about a whole, you know, a whole different race plan. So what did you think that, tell me what you think that one thing you probably could have did different in that race that would have had a different outcome. And I guess we got to say that the only different outcome you would have had is yeah. you win it. So what, what is one thing that you feel like that you saw that you could have corrected that would have actually gave you the W versus well, from, well, from the, well, from the jump, from the jump, I ended up. I, I I don't I don't I didn't feel myself flinch for it, but I did feel myself rock back. Gun goes off. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna execute. And I don't feel I felt like that that just one little thing just kind of threw off just a just a half of a 
you know, and that's how you like, that's what you lose by. You lose just like that when you mess up and everything's not clicking. So, you know, I sit still, I push out when the gun goes off, you know, we may set up the first couple of steps and we may be ahead. So, mm -hmm. you know, you can't let him get that, you know, when he's get, he get to go on and he get to go and he ain't coming back. Yeah, 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 that's 100%, that's 100% positive. Let me ask you this, because I'm, I'm, I'm asking questions based off of what I saw in the race. At, at about, I'd say at about 40, you were sitting right there at about 40. Do you feel like because you haven't had any races and you haven't actually like been in that, you know, that position, do you feel like that might have been a reason to where you couldn't really find one more gear to get in front? I mean, when I was watching it, it looked like you was, of course, he got out on you. He got out. Like, I all shit, he got out. But you you did everything you saying, you know, and, and, and first of all, shout out to Chris Coleman because that's what he do. You did everything you saying, but you got right back up on him for like the last 20 minutes to go, but he was able to hold you off. I didn't see him get no faster, right. but I did see him hold you off. I feel like you didn't have the proper frequency to hit another gear and that you was really running off of about, you know, more power and more execution and less speed because I saw you in a position to where it's like, oh, just hit a gear. But it's like that gear never came. Did you feel that when you was in it too? Or was like, I'm just, I, I just, I just, just don't, I, I, he's right here, but why can't I do, do that? Yeah, no, um, I mean, and that, that comes from just racing, bro. Like when yeah. you, when you, like you don't want to, I know it's like, I know it's a race, but you know, you don't want to be racing when you're out there. Like you want to execute your race and not worry about what's going on. But when you feel yourself, stop. When you feel yourself in striking distance, you, you know, you, and somebody gets next to you, it's, can you still replicate those positions? And I mean, in that, in that moment, I couldn't, cause I got back on them. I'm like, okay, like I can go past them and mm -hmm. start pressing to get past them instead of doing what got me there. You know? Yeah. So it's just yeah. kind of what happens, man. You just got to stick to it. Yeah. 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 But you, it, you, it, you, like you said, like... it comes from not having bodies next to you, you know? Yeah. So when you, like when you start to see people put races together and every race starts to look the same is because they get comfortable with people next to them. But, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, it's my first one. And, you know, it's, a, it's a, the, the indoor final. I'm trying to go get it. So yeah. instead of just, you know, being a vet and, you know, kind of chilling, like I just started in my mind, I'm like, okay, go, go past him, go past him. And that's what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it didn't, um, here's the one thing that I'll say. Um, I think it's extremely impressive to open up at a championship and barely lose. I give you that much. I give you that much. Also, I think what it showcased was what you were saying, you know, on the, the first time you came on the show about the big picture, the bigger picture, you know, and folks are like, oh, man, Marvin, I'm pulled out of New York. What's going on? He like, bro, that's not the big picture. The big picture is for me to get to the world champs. So I commend you for doing that because to me, to me, that, that, that hushed a lot of people up. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, no, I was never scared. I was never scared to race nobody. It was all about strategically being smart and understanding when I need to race them. And it looked like, to me, you planned that out perfectly because it went the way it went. It would have been one thing if you had a win and got, like, third. Or if you had a win and, you know, got, you know, not ran, you know, 40, you ran, like, 51. Then everybody would be on your case, like, oh, see, that what happened. You yeah, know, you yeah. were ducking and dodging, and that's why you were ducking and dodging, because you wouldn't really, you know what I'm saying? But to come out there and, like, my first race, I'm going to be the semis. And my second race is going to be the finals. And I'm going to give y'all the business, and you're going to have to run for life to beat me. To me, that's extremely impressive. Not going to lie. I'm not going to lie, because yeah, literally, true. you had no clue where you was at. Like, you had no clue. Like, I know what everybody say, you know what, well, in practice, I look like this, practice like that. You know how many times I done broke the world record in a hundred that practice and then get the media right there. Yeah, I know it. I know it. Why did you run it? Sir, go to the right team too. Yeah. So, yeah. for you to be able to do that, to me, that was more impressive than anything because it's like, no, nah, I'm coming out the water and finna show y'all. Literally, I'm finna show y'all. So, 
Let me ask you this then. So what like the same thing like I have for What what's your takeaways from that race then? What's the positives <clears throat> you got from that race? I made the team, you know, and I equal my personal best without my best race. So it let me know that okay, like you really you and, and I know what I know what I, I <clears throat> and we know what we need to clean up and how to execute it. And it ain't like I said, it's not a big fix. We're no longer fixing, you know, this foot angle. And I mean we're no longer fixing this this body position or this or that we fixing foot angles and just a little the small things that people don't get to see you mm -hmm. know on a normal basis but you and me know when we say small things we know exactly what we mean and it can be something so you know minute that they will never see it they can study can break down video none of that and all that stuff they'll never see it yeah but you know we will look at it and say okay look at that position look at that position look at that position and so you know man just clean up stuff like that and knowing that i made the team this is my third team you know and yeah. so you know, third time to talk Appreciate it, man. Thank you. That. That, that's, that's, that, that's heavy stuff. You know, you might you, you remind me of something that Ray Lewis said one time. Ray Lewis said, greatness is doing small things right over and over and over again. And pretty much that's what you're saying. Like, no, it's not the actual speed. It's not the actual race. It's the small things that I got to correct because those small things are what's going to lead me to greatness. I'll say it like this. When I watched their race, you know, I've already watched it a hundred times. The difference I saw between the two of y'all is neither one of y'all look like y'all ready to actually run fast, which is which is what we want where y'all want to be at. Be honest. What I saw is you couldn't catch him and he couldn't leave you because both of y'all pretty much on the same frequency with y'all training. I literally called it though. I said, if CC get them two steps, Mar gonna lose. That's <laughs> literally what I'm saying. Cause I was like, what well, they both at in their training? CC ain't gonna run away, and Marv ain't gonna catch him. They gonna stay right there. So I literally said, however, whoever get out, if Marv get out with him, he gonna beat him. Because I feel like Marv got just a little bit of a longer drive phase to where he can get in front at the very end. I said, if CC get, if he get to that damn 10 and it's just him at that 10, they're not gonna catch him. Right, listen, and that's he, literally <laughs> what I saw happen. Like you right, moved, yeah. but he went, ka, ka, ka. I said, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, shit, 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 you gotta be you know right there with me. You, you just gotta you just gotta weather the storm because it's gonna happen. There's nothing we can do about it. That's the beautiful yep. thing about the sport. So me yep. as an athlete, I gotta go back to the lab and say, okay, how do we overcome this? And then you, mm -hmm. you work on it, you work on it, you work on it. And we got what two weeks, you know, two and a half weeks to get it together. So like I said, it's smaller things. So it's like I'd be like I said, I would be worried if you know I had ran, you know, six five mid, six five high, and you know, just so happened to get second and he's light years ahead. I'm like, shit, I got to fix this, 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 that, and that. You know, and you know how that goes when you're an athlete trying to fix so many things, you might mess something else up. Mm -hmm. So now you're back mm -hmm. at square one trying to build it all over again. So, yeah. I, you know, just knowing that, okay, man, it's it's minor, but if you hit it right, you know, we got a different outcome. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know, because I've been watching y'all and, you know, I've been studying Lamont, based off of what I've seen, Mechanically sound, Lamont looks the best. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say what it is. But I went back and watched because I wanted to wait to see both of y'all race first before I go back and watch him to watch, so I can see. Okay, well, how can he be beat or where would he lose at? Right now, I'm saying if I was to call it, the race for gold is between UNCC and he in third. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because I said it, I said it some weeks back on race tech. I was like. I don't see him putting no, together no real frequency, but neither do y'all. The one thing that I do see him doing is when the last race, and like even my own race that I've seen, I was like, he has that little kick out of the block. You know, he got that little, it's just a little, oh, it, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? It's like a little, very much. I say, if you do that right now against them two, well, you might as well start running. <laughs> 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 I was going back and watching that. I was like, oh, you better think that shit because if you don't think that, they gone gone. Because I already know since you don't, it, 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 it's like, it's, it, it's, it's a sport. You study your opponents. You've been in the fight with Christian Coleman. So it's just like boxing. I got knocked out in the 10th round because I didn't see his hook coming. 
But now the next fight, I know that I know to look for that hook. So now going to the next race, it's like, oh, I know when I mean, you already knew it, but now it's like, oh no, no, no. I know for a fact this year because he just did it. He gonna put them two if I don't move with it. Exactly. So now going into the next race, it's gonna be a different race between both of y'all. It's gonna be a different race between both of y'all. I don't yep. see Lamont being in the race with y'all anymore. I really don't. I'm just being honest. I mean, I'm, I'm just being honest. I, I do see y'all going one two. How how you feel about that? Now, as far as <clears throat> as far, I mean, I know what I know what my goal is. My goal is to go in there, you know, and bring home the gold medal. Like I ain't, mm-hmm. ain't going to lose. But as far as as far as they go, like you said, you know, do you know do the technician? The man should just be on point. Like everything looks exactly the same. Every you know everything he do is just the, everything. So it looks like the same race over and over. So you, you can literally take a frame by frame picture and it'll damn near be the same. Now, obviously, there's little nuances that, you know, that make up the time difference that, again, mm-hmm. people don't see. But they see him execute and be like, how can that be 655, but that be 649? Yeah. You know, and yeah. it's, little, it's, it's little things that he might have felt, you know, as an athlete. And he goes back and work on in the same for CC. You know, he's going to go and, you know, break this down and say, OK, well, I got to do this, this and this so that I can pull away. You know, yeah. and I'm yeah. over here. I got to do this, this and that. So that he can't pull away, and I can, you know, so take the risk. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, not man. Like I said, I, I know what my goal is to go over there and do, man. And I'm just going to just be the best I can be. Do Do, do you feel? I, I'm asked this question, you know, because you know, I think it was new New Balance you pulled out of or whatever, and then it was like I feel I don't feel nothing, but I just I don't feel comfortable. How do you feel now, like physically wise, like like? Your body now, because it should man, feel pretty damn fresh, because you ain't really, you know. Man, this something. sport is all this, I, this. I was actually I was kind of tuned in a little bit earlier when uh when Mary Beth was talking about you know, and she said something about confidence. Like this sport mm-hmm. is all about confidence. Like you gotta have it going into a race. So like you know, I I've only seen one other person open up at USA's and and look good, and that was Christian in 2020. Mm-hmm. He opened up. I came back. He ran 6:37. I ran 6:49. So. You know, it, I only seen one other person do that. And I'm like, hey, man, people don't just open up. So when Raina, when Raina made the call, you know, pull out of middle roads, and he was like, man, we just going to train, and we going to go to USA to open up. I swear I swear to God, I thought it was, I th- I swear to God, I thought it was kidding. Like, I was waiting for him to text me, like, LOL, JK or something. Because, <laughs> I, <laughs> hey, I was like, hell no. I'm like, hell no. So then I feel, and I'm feeling good around. I'm feeling good for New Balance. He was like, no, nah, we ain't going to New Balance. I'm like, all right. I'm like, all right, come on, dog. Like Kobe, Kobe Wilder. I'm like, man, Kobe Wilder. So I let some time go by. Like next week go by. And then there was a meet and I think France. And I was on the start list. Yeah. I'm on the start list. I'm, I'm thinking like, okay, Randa might be, Randa might be cynical enough to like put me in the meet and then let me know I'm going to the meet. So yeah. I was like, I see my name on the start list. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm gonna go, I go to practice. Like, oh, you can tell me up in a race. Oh, yeah, it's on. He didn't say nothing. I said, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so then what meet was that? What meet was that on? I think Leaving on the 17th. Oh. Yeah. So look, I look, I'm like, look, I see my name on the start list. I'm like, man, coach gotta let me go, dog. So I kinda bring it up to him, like, yeah, coach, man, I'm feeling real good, man. How you feel? He was like, Marvin, hell no. <laughs> he was like, yeah. I was like, bro, let me go to Birmingham or something. He was like, well, if you go to Birmingham, you got to turn around the next day, fly straight to Spokane. Like, we can't do that, it's too much travel. Well, I'm kind of hot. Boy, I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. But I was hot. But, I was hot. I, as an athlete, I know he was hot. But then at the same time, it's like, but my coach knows best because my coach is my coach. You know what I mean? But that is like, when my coach is right, look at me the medal we got in my whole camp. So therefore, it's like if he's saying, Mm-mm, no, we're not gonna do it that way. Me on the outside looking in, I'm like, shit. Well, if Rain don't say he ain't running. That means when he get to wherever he finna run, he finna run, run. Because that's just, you know, let's just call it what it is. That's a smart coach. That's I tell people all the time. I tell my athletes I train here. If I'm pulling you out of a meet, it's not, it has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with me, Jack. You're not going to make me look bad. <laughs> You're not going to go out there yet. So I, I commend Raynor for that because throughout me watching y'all whole camp, that's what he does anyway. It's like, no, no, no. When we come out, it's the same thing last year when Trayvon first came out. You know what I'm saying? It was like, no, no, no. When you come out, you're going to come out, and you're coming out at the top. There is no build-up. There's no third, second. Right. It's either you coming out to win 
or you finna make somebody have to go even faster to beat me. But think so, about this, like think about you. Okay, you on the coaching side now, but you know, as an athlete, but you feeling good, you looking good, you training yeah. good, everything going good. So I've been good for at least the last two and a half, three weeks. Like I've been ready to race the last mm -hmm. three weeks. So I'm sitting here, I'm itching, you know what I'm saying? I see everybody running. I see, I'm like, man, like, come on now. Everybody, you know, everybody have a little fun. <laughs> man, I want to do something, boy. Like I ain't, I'm, every day you can start, but you, every day you can see it, every day. And it just, I just had hunger in my eyes. It's just to race, bro. Cause like, I'm, I'm training good. Like I want to start off hot. Mm -hmm. Not right now. So, so I, I got to ask this question. Cause, cause I, um, the Trey had hit me up and he was like, well, my mom came to practice like he ready to fight everybody. Oh, <laughs> I said, I said, what you mean, say, man? My mom came out here like he ready to fight. So what, what was going through your head when you got back to practice after USA Nationals? Because I, so, I got to know because it is. You know, I got to so, know because that means so, like, all right, what you, you, you trying to turn up, turn up. Like what? Nah, nah what, so first what of all, on? so first of all, first of all, I get back, I get back. I got back Monday at midnight, our time, uh, uh, Eastern time. So he gave me, he gave me Tuesday off. I still came out there. I came out, I came out to practice, bro. Like I went to practice, dog. I'm like, man, I'm, I, I got it. I, I'm, I'm good now. Like I know, I really know, you know where I'm at. So I'm good now. So think about it. four days ago, I didn't know what I was gonna run. Now I'm like, well, shit, man. I want to just, I need to fix this right now, like right now. So I went to him today. I went to him today in practice, and I was just like, yeah, man. So. You know, we gonna what we gonna be doing? I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out, you know, ahead of time like what he got cooked up, cause I just got I got that excited. Like I, I came out there all black and everything with the little like, skull, the ski mask on, like you know what I'm saying? Just ready, man, just ready. Hey, hey Trey in the comments, he said you came out there with a ski mask on and everything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, the ski mask. On. Hey, look here. I don't practice in the day, Jack. I'm man, listen, I, man, I felt, listen, I, I could have went, dog. I ain't need a day off, bro. I had a day off when I flew here. Like, I'd be fine. No, I just, I just, I'm just excited, man, to be to, to, to be training good, to be feeling good, to be running good. Yeah, yeah. Especially because I, mean, I never start off at, you know, I never started off that fast. So these both, both yeah. of those was probably my fastest season openers. Well, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, the way I look at it is, like I kept telling everybody before Endo started, Based off of how you looked closing the season, you're not going to forget too much of that. And, you know, like somebody put in the, in the comments, you know, your knee ass is starting to look, you know, not phenomenal, but, but not my topical. You know, that's our new word when it looks excellent. And I will say that um, your knee ass looks phenomenal, um, which is why I, I'm sitting here saying, like, you know, indoor – I, I only said that that was probably about a 65, 75% run. I didn't see no real frequency, frequency behind that. Do you feel like you on a, a, a pace to PR outdoor? I mean, at, at where I am at this point, like in yeah. the season, like in my career, I actually do feel like I can go outside and, and really do something. You know, all those races you've seen, you know, put together at the back half of the, at the, back half of the season, mm -hmm. you know, that was that was just the beginning. Like it was me figuring things out. And once you know, like you said, once in this game, and once you once you figure stuff out, you know you you can run fast. Yeah. And so I you know everything's been going good, man. I'm you know I'm blessed to train you know with some of the best athletes in the sport. So you always kind of got a measuring stick of where you're gonna be at. Like you know, because you know when you giving it, you know you running with somebody and you giving it what you got. And okay, if I'm if I'm here and I know he pushing, mm -hmm. you kind of know where you at. So, yeah. you know, man, shouts out to the guys, you know, all the guys I train with, man, because we got so many different, like, styles and dynamics that you get a little taste of everything. Hmm. Well, since you said that, you switch hats real fast. So this whole relay thing, first of all, first of all, I'm going to throw some mess. First and foremost, you can't even be on a relay because technically you an NFL dude running track. So you can't even run on Trayvon on relay. You got to go get on one of their relays. You can't come over here trying to be no trader on them boys. Yeah, you want the Indianapolis Colts wide receiver, kick return person, sir. Sorry, Trayvon, you can't use him. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, nah, but for real, though, how, how you feel about, you know what I'm saying, how you feel about something like that, like that type I mean, of get, relay versus them? 
Man, I, I listen. I, I really wish we. Could, I hope we pull it. I really hope we pull it off. Just so you know, it'll bring more. You know, it'll bring us so much more popularity and just notar- you know, notarization from you know they crowd because they'll see. Okay, I, these are really our top NFL guys. And I mean, if they ain't hanging with the women, they the man gonna do. So you get a real sense of what what speed is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I really hope that because I know it'd be fun, man. And I really hope we can we can make we can make some shape. Personally, I think y'all gonna lose. <laughs> Wait, waste no time. Why you think you're gonna lose, man? Hey, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it to you the radio tape time. Y'all you know I keep it 100. Personally, I think y'all gonna lose. Now I'm gonna tell you why I think y'all gonna lose. Okay? I think y'all gonna lose because let's just put it on paper, all right? On paper, in order for y'all to beat these guys, right? And we'll say it's the four that, that, that they're talking about. In order for y'all to beat these guys, you and Trey would have to go by 9-2. Because let's just call it what it is. DK Metcalf went, what, 10-3? That ain't good enough, ain't good enough but yeah. That ain't good enough, but if he on a leg against a, a, a 10-7 female, you see what just happened? You don't lost that four chance now. But we're going to make it up with us, though. Okay, I was hoping you was going to say that. So now, this is how I look at it happening. I say, okay, if you're on the start, and they put somebody like a Schwartz on the start, or whoever, Trey, either one of y'all on, on the start, right? Y'all will probably go on that start. I'd say, you know, realistically, we can go 9 4 nine, five, right? On the, on the relay start, right? They're not going to go that fast. They will probably go roughly 10-2. So now what happens is, you know, you got that 0. 0.7 gap, right? If you got a a, a a 10-3 Metcalf who can on a relay now can go 10 flat, and you got a, a – we'll even go with um a Daniel, 10-9. That's only going to give you roughly 10-5, 10-6. So that gap just got shot down to 0. 0.2, okay? okay? Here's what I'll say, y'all – Lose that. You lose it right there on that second or third exchange. Okay? Because I feel like whoever is the guy on that third can't push out like a normal push out because you would leave the girl. So That's now you can't hit that normal bracelet curve takeoff. You can't hit that now. So now that stick slows down again to where. Trey now got to pull back in front and put another, you know, point three on him. But then when you get on the anchor leg, you only – and I'm just – I'm saying this if you got security. When you get an anchor leg, now that, that female got to be able to hold that gap, which is that now point two, point three, point four. Okay. If you got an 11-0 female on that anchor leg and you got somebody, you know, like a Swartz that can run or a Tyreek that can run easily 10-2, 10-3, chances are she finna get ran down. That's right. why I'm saying I ain't going to give it to y'all. See, Trey, yeah, Trey, when, when, Trey, when, when Trey brought this up, when Trey brought this up, he was like, yeah, man, we're going to go boy, girl, boy, girl. I say, no, we not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we not. No, we not. Just because of that reason. Like, they're going to make, no, we not playing. That's too, that's playing too close to the chest. No. Man, we going, I said, we going, I said, look, I said, I said, we going, me to you. Listen, you better go. <laughs> I said, I'm going to give you a lead and you better go. Because I was like, you know, if we can get the women running comfortably, you know, not worried about the dudes being next to them. Not nah, he, man. He ain't nowhere close. So go ahead, and he gonna have to catch whoever it is at the at the finish line. We ain't nah. We building that lead, and we are gonna hang on. I ain't finna, we ain't finna lead us to dance because of that reason. Because well, you know, what I'm saying well, they, the dudes just have a good day. Nah, we ain't we ain't taking no chances. And I feel like we put the pressure on them. You know, from the jump, them sticks gonna mess up. They ain't they ain't been out there in them trenches. Well. Technically, you know, when I kind of initiated this, you know, I was like, I told Chad, the T.O., I was like, hey, you know what? I level the playing fields. It's too much. If y'all do it, you know, in Dallas, whatever, whatever, Atlanta. I even coach our relay. I coach the NFL relay. So that's another wow, reason. You, are, like, are you train? Are you train? Are you wilding? <laughs> you wilding? Yeah. Are you wilding? I said, you know what? I, I, I coach that relay to make it more interesting. To make it more interesting. I coach the NFL relay. That's no reason. I'm like, boy, y'all be in trouble if I get over there for it. Now, look, now, look, now. I think, uh, I think, 
I'm going to say it again. I don't think y'all will win, man. Yeah, I don't think y'all will win. I really don't think y'all can win. I just, I'm being 100 honest just based off numbers. Woo. I don't think y'all can win. I don't think y'all can win. I don't think. Now, if it's the NFL's four fastest, the four fastest, they're going to neutralize our girls. They're going to neutralize it. Who, but who? Okay, when you think about, okay, you got you got Schwartz, you got Reed, mm-hmm. you got Metcalf. Who's your fourth? Mm-hmm. Like, who's really fast? I'm not talking about to forty fast. I'm talking about can. Who? Well, I mean, you go. Actually, I got, actually, I got somebody. I got somebody in mind, but I'm gonna see who you gonna say. Well, I was thinking, um, Ross. First of all, I knew you were going there, but they ain't what yeah. I'm talking about. So I was saying him, Tyreek, Schwartz. And I forgot who my other person was. I gotta look at my list because I'm all old. But yeah, I put my photo up on my Twitter like two. Nah, like, I, I get, I get, I go get. Was it uh, oh, Raheem Mostert? <laughs> Got it. Somebody else that said Raheem though. Man, <laughs> Duke Run. Duke Run. Hmm. Duke run. Like, actually this? run. Uh, somebody said DK. Yeah, DK. And I'm, be, I'm be honest with you. I'm be honest with you now. Um, I think them boys want to do it. You know, you know, I, I, you know, I train a couple of them, so oh, they don't play around. Said Dante Jackson, Dante Jackson, yeah, he, him too, him too. Yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I think they want to do it. Now, here's what I think, though. I think um, something more fair and more realistic that I'd like to see is. If y'all take, the, I'm not saying to do it the way, but if y'all take the girls off and then y'all do a 200 and 200 and let them do a four by one. Hey, Trey, hey, y'all gotta get known for that, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I ain't read 200 since 2014. I ain't read 200 since 2014. Hey, hey, you know, Trey's still trying to figure out why his 100 and 200 time don't add up. <laughs> Yeah, nah, I ain't your boy. I ain't ran one, two boy. The eight, the eight, eight years, eight years. I think, I think that one alone would be exciting to watch because, from a laughing standpoint, I would only want to see y'all face that last ten trying to hold on. Trying to hold on. Four by two. That that exchange ain't the same. That's the one you nah, got to go all the way. Up. <laughs> you at the top of the curve, boy. No sir. You at the top of the curve. I think, I think that'll add a little more. A little, a little more something too. I got you. I got you. But man, I, you know what though? I, I'm really pushing for, I'm really pushing for this to happen. You know, cause y'all know I'm hosting that track meet or whatever. I'm pushing for it to happen no matter what. And what I mean, no matter what, is you know, even if we can't get the 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 the, the, the four top athletes that the NFL won't, I know enough NFL athletes that I can be like, hey, let's do this anyway. Even if you know, because the weekend I'm doing it is Doha weekend, and that's the same thing I'm telling the sponsor. Matter of fact, shout out to the sponsor of Velocity Sports because they put up a lot of money for this. Um, and I'm gonna talk about that too. So I feel like we gonna do it regardless, regardless. just so that we can get it going no matter what. Even I, I if it you. ain't y'all, if we can just get just some track athletes that's that ain't going to Doha, you know what I'm saying? That ain't running that weekend. Come on here, you know what I'm saying? Because the way I got it set up is. If we just run a relay, you know, the, the purse is already there. That was one thing. But then I was like, shoot, man, you know what I'm saying? At any rate, I respect these people for coming to put on a show. So I'm getting for them. Yeah, when you when you get here, you get a check. Listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the way I the way I was telling Velocity was back in the day when they had Texas relays, the only reason we went to Texas relays was because two reasons. One, they give enough for them. Two, We've been to go out and party with that Perdin. Yeah. <laughs> and so if you can do that for them, but if you can make that Perdin put USA Track and Field is only giving us a couple hundred. You y'all allow me to get these boys some stacks a piece. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna turn into something nice. Well, I mean, and that's for the same thing for the NFL. That's why I keep saying it's like I don't want people to look at it like it's a race. Like even when I'm telling you know coaches about it and everything like that, like no, 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 no. This ain't no race. This is all showing up, fun in games, nothing serious for nobody to get hurt, none of that. It's just, it's just, it's just fun. It's something that needs to be done. Hold on. Not Jeremy Water. I'm sweating. 
Can you turn the air conditioner on, please? Look at my face. No, I didn't want to. Look. I'm sweating. That's, that's not oil. You're working hard over here. I am. You're sweating. Turn the, the air conditioner on the south. No, I didn't. Do, 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 do you want the fan? Let me catch you and bring me the fan. I'm sorry. Y'all know none, Jimmy Warner. I'm going this damn thing sweating, man. Oh, all right. So, anyway. All right. Backtrack and field. So. What? What? what <laughs> you just, you just put. Just give me the towel. I need the towel. You got lint everywhere now. Damn. Damn. Screw, huh? What are you doing? All right. Anyway. Oh, you know what, though? Since we on the topic of NFL and track, I want to go back to your last show because somebody had did say something. Um, somebody had said they felt like you was down in track and field and you was uplifting the NFL on the last show that you was on here. They felt like that show you was showing more love to your NFL career than to your track career. Almost like you would rather be in the NFL than track and field, which, hell, I don't know. I'd rather be in the NFL track and field. But anyway, can you elaborate on that a little more? Because, you know, you took – I was in the comments out there that you took a little bit of grief about that because folks were like, man, he – he 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 back like yeah, he don't I mean, run I mean, track no more. No, no, no. It ain't that I, ain't that I run track. Like, I mean, I, I, made a, I made an Olympic team in the 100 and, mm -hmm. turned, and walked away from the sport. You know what I'm saying? So – Obviously, it was always that love there. Like, man, that was my first love. You know, I'm playing football since I was six years old. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go to the NFL. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And my tenth grade year, just out of nowhere, I, I started running track. And mm -hmm. I think I, I think I started the year I was like ten eight, and I ran ten nineteen in the state championship final. I had like mm -hmm. a two point five though. So you know, overnight, I realized that I had the the ability to run really fast. And mm -hmm. so you know, it, it was always a, it was always a, it was always a, a juggle, and so I had the opportunity out of high school to run track professionally, and I, I haven't really thought about it, but I was like, man, you know what? Like, I got to give college football a chance. I go in there, and it didn't go the way I wanted it to. So obviously, I chose track. So I chose to be here. So I chose to walk away from football to be here. You know, so I mean, it wasn't that. It wasn't like I was like you know. Track ain't never happened for me. It was just football was where was where my heart was. So, you yeah. know, once I got the opportunity, like I was thankful. But, you know, God showed me like this same, but the same for you. Like you ain't this probably ain't what you're gonna be doing. And so, you know, I'm back. But it wasn't like I was I, I would never down track. No, I respect track. Let me ask you this. If you had the uh, hold on, I gotta I can't hear you if you're talking. There you I just want to break my back. All right, so let me ask you this then. Be honest. Be honest with yourself and the people. Right. right now, you're getting ready to go to the Indo World Championship. It's not, track, it's not football season. But let's just say, let's just say uh, you get a phone call and Dallas Cowboys is like, we saw you. We saw you on TV. You look good. You look good. We know you're going to play football. We want you to come on down here right now. Skip the indoor world championship. Take this trial. What you going to do? I wouldn't do it. That's you wouldn't do it? You wouldn't That's take the trial? Hell no, I wouldn't take that trial. I'm, man, I'm, I'll be in Serbia. i tell you that. I ain't, I'd have made it. I listen, I, I ain't making the same mistake twice. You know, it was fun, man. I had fun. I I enjoyed the process. But it, I hell no. I ain't, man, listen, that was... That shit brutal. And listen, they ain't, just because you get the tryout, that ain't guaranteed that you sign because it's funny that you brought them up. The Cowboys is the first team ever to give me a tryout. They flew me out I, there. I don't know why I said that. I remember they flew that. Me out there, man, they flew me out there and they flew me out there and I, I, gave, them, I gave them my best workout. They was like, ah, no, we good. Oh, this okay, like what that. Why Jared called you and said, I remember your tape and I saw you on TV. I want to give you. Lead minimum. Come on in, but I need you in now. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why not. Because that mm -hmm. shit ain't guaranteed. That ain't none of that guaranteed, boy. 
Listen, <laughs> listen, no, no, listen, it's league minimal right now. It's, it's 550. Yeah. Man, league minimal right now is 550. But listen, bitch, they cut me tomorrow. <laughs> listen, because listen, listen, bro, listen, I got, I got, I got messed up like that when I was with the, when I was with the Seahawks. The day before the first preseason, my first preseason game, the day before the game, I'm packing my bag. I'm in the locker room, packing my bag, whatever to put there so I can put it on the bus. We go to the hotel. Mm -hmm. Check me out, right? One, there's a dude. They call every team got one. They call him the Reaper. He basically he the dude that come and get you, like to cut you. Mm -hmm. So like he come get you. If he walking in the locker room, he looking for somebody to cut. But if you go to the office, he can give that talk, and if you give your flight. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it on purpose. Like that's the bad part. <laughs> we all got kids. He's being loud on purpose, but because I ain't, you know. So. We all dads. You think we? But no, stop, stop. So, so, he, so I'm packing my bag, right? He come up. I'm, my, I had, I know. As a matter of fact, before practice, I had packed my bag. Y'all go ahead and get this up out of here. I come back after practice, and my bag empty. I'm like. I go to put shit back in my bag. Like y'all, you know what I'm saying? Everybody else bad pat. Man, dude came tap me on the shoulder, like, hey, can I talk to you real quick? <laughs> hey, listen, I'm like, I don't, I, don't know, I don't know who he is yet. So he take me up in the office, he's like, yeah, man, we, you know, man, one of our running backs went down, and you know, it's a numbers game, kid, and we, you know, we gotta let you go. But you know, we're gonna bring you back, you know, when we're back at full health. So they got to cut me to bring in another running back to be on the practice squad. Mm -hmm. So that he can fill the void of the running back they missing because it's all numbers. Like all this stuff is calculated between reps and like everything. So when one dude go down, they got to replace him and pull somebody else up. And that means somebody else lost their job. So when y'all see somebody get hurt, somebody just lost their job. So yeah. shit ain't guaranteed, bro. They ain't, you don't know what can happen. Okay, so let me ask you this. <clears throat> What's this Hennessy story? That, what? I don't want y'all to figure out, man. What's this? I might have to scroll back up. Let me scroll back up. Let me scroll back up. Hold on, hold on. Let me scroll up. Because I seen a comment something, and it was like... Uh, hold on. Let me scroll back up. Let me scroll back up. I had somebody... Not somebody. Hold on. Let me find what you're going on. It might not have been Hennessy. It was something else that Trayvon had said. Hold up. Hold on. We scroll up. I missed it. But I think he was trying to call you out on something you done did. And I seen man, it on the screen. That man be snitching, boy. <laughs> that man be snitching, boy. I seen it on the screen. And he told me to ask you about something. And all I saw was ask Marv and Hennessy. That's all I saw. <laughs> nah, you got, you got, you got. I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more. Okay, uh, I gotta scroll back up. I gotta train one. Put it back in there again because I can't find it. I can't find what what it was. That man, be, that man, it be. But he was there. It was something. There's too many comments in here now for me to find out. What matter? Of fact, let me ask you this then. What what is a what is a training day like with y'all two, like at practice? Cause I know y'all, so that's why I'm like, this shit got to be like, like what, what's a so, what's a training day like with y'all? Man, listen, it's I, I can tell you, it's never, it's never born, it's never born. If it's a born day at practice, somebody hurt or 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 Raina just on one. But for the most part, man, like we just we keep it alive, you know what I'm saying? And then we got you know we got we got Drake, and he's just, man, he's just unintentionally funny. So <laughs> it's just jokes, you know. We it's nothing, we it's never serious. Like we came. I think blocks is like the most serious we'll get, and that's just like right before we, you know, dial in. Everybody just get quiet. But outside of that, man, it's always, it's always, you know, it's shit talking. We gonna, we gonna do that. Like you guys, mm -hmm. you, ain't, you can't, you can't be soft because, you know, if somebody really wanna say something to you, they are gonna say something to you, and it, it is what it is. You just gotta take it. And mm -hmm. so, you know, we should, we should talk, but it's, it's really, just, it's really all fun and games. I'll be honest with you. Do you think that the fact that y'all got that much respect for each other is why y'all can shit talk? Because y'all respect yeah. each other's talents that much. Yeah, like I mean, think about it. He, he, we, we, we from the same state. Like we grew up, you know, in the same, in Florida track and field. So you yeah. know, obviously, I'm a year, I'm a year old. I came out a year before him, and you know, I had my success, and then he came right behind me and took over, became world junior champ, you know, all that stuff. And so, I've been knowing him so long, and I've been seeing him. So it's like you know, when you when you know somebody that long, they they see every part of you. So 
he knows that when I say something, it ain't to be taken you know, disrespectfully. Mm -hmm. It's just all a lot of fun competition because at the end of the day, you're going to win or I'm going to win. Like somebody, somebody got to lose. Yeah. You know, yeah. so if we, if we compete in something, they get, it is what it is. You know, yeah. we, we made teams together. We've I've seen, you know, all the success he's had and, and vice versa. So it's like it's always out of a respect thing. It ain't like somebody trying to look down like, OK, well, I did this and you did that. No, 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 no. And, and I and I, <clears throat> I know for a fact that that is what actually helps athletes become great athletes. I try to tell people all the time, if you have practice and you super serious every day, that's called pressure. Yeah. <laughs> you, that's called pressure. Every day you out there, got the headphones on and right, yeah. ready. <laughs> Well, you ain't gonna run fast at all, Jack. You gotta lose it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I learned I learned that shit the hard way, man. I learned that the hard way. I'm trying to tell you, I don't see many of them do it. I like a lot of them. And then, you know, even the people I train them, I'll be like, you better lose it up, up, man. Then, no, listen, man. Uh, I got it. I got it. I'm in my mode. I'm in my mode. Man, right. oh, okay. All right. And then, mode, I'll be like, I'll be like Hey, what happened? I was in your nah, bro, I, listen, like, I, done, I, I done been there. I done, I done been there, bro. Trust me, there's a time where I'm like, okay, man, I got to figure this shit out. So I go from playing all the time to getting sick. But listen, hit Trey, I tell you, I, all day, like, I don't, for the time I hit the gate, I get to practice 25 minutes early just so I can play. Like, like I, got, I got to get it in. So this, and it's all day, all practice. Like, I don't never take nothing serious. Like, you know what I'm saying? But if he, if he, if he coaching us up, that's one thing. But, like, outside of that, man, I don't be, what the rain got to say. So... So just all day, every day, man. And I, I got to a point where one time I got real serious, like two weeks. Like, man, I got to figure this shit out. Man, I'm running bad, you know, and then I'm, I start running worse. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, so no. So we got to get into it before we get off the show. Because y'all brought me into it, and I ain't know how I got into it. How did part two of the saga happen? Cause I thought everything was squashed, okay, people. I mean, I no, it ain't it never. It ain't. It was. It was never squashed. He left it at. He left it at. I'm gonna see him when I, I asked him for a schedule. He actually said, "I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see him when I see him." Like, I mean, I'm. I, I'm. I'm gonna find him at one point. You know, we're gonna have to race. We're gonna have to race at some point in the season. But no, nah, I just. I just went to poke fun, man. After the race, you know what I'm saying? Like, I went to poke a little fun because when somebody, somebody that I guess know him or whatever was like, "Oh, let's compare last '60s," and he. Mm -hmm. Put six five and six seven. First of all, man. I mean, my season best from last year was six sixty five. But mm -hmm. I mean, whatever. Like I don't. You ain't got all the information. Like I ain't even tripping. So I bookmarked that tweet. So when I raced, I asked him, "Did he still want to compare sixties? Like it was just, you know, just posting a little fun. Like I ain't. I'm gonna get, you know. I ain't finna just lay down and take it. Like y'all gonna dish it. Y'all gonna y'all y'all gonna dish it. Y'all gonna dish it. I think. Uh, and let's 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 make sure that we put that part out there to everybody that even though it's like that you know well we all kick it and we talking trash but it's not anything to where it's like actual beat beat it's like no we're gonna handle it on the track and if you take it from the track okay then we gotta have beat beat but right now that's kind of where i've just been leaving it at and personally i feel like at this point you don't have to respond anymore now. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know, like when Nas dropped Ether. All right, well, Jay can go drop whatever. <laughs> <Nas ain't gotta laughs> yeah. You can go drop HOVO2. You can go do whatever you want to do. Ether was so hot to where it's like, bro, you can <laughs> yeah. over with. That's how yeah. I look at now. The 60 is like, bro, he came out in his first meet and went, that's Ether. Don't even just leave it alone. <laughs> don't even touch it. <laughs> because it don't matter at this point. Yeah, you can nah, come outside right, yeah. and you can go over, you can go open up with 990. Won't matter. <laughs> he said, when you were talking, the response was a oh, hi yeah. No, so, you just, and you got you gotta think about like in that period of time, like when all this going on. Like, but I was sick. I had to pull out a, uh, I had to pull out a mill road because me, I did pre meet with Trey. Like everything we did, block, you know, did all that stuff on pre meet, and it was like the last round where we kind of determined, like, yeah, we probably ain't going. So, you know, I ain't even want nobody to know. Like, I just, I cooled down, you know, packed my stuff, went back to the hotel, told my agent, like, I ain't gonna have him, bro, and you know, like, agent, you, you just made me think about something that 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 you know, 
Because you and Mary Bell are on two totally different, completely different sides of track and field. Was there ever a point in your career in track and field where you didn't have an agent or a shoe company to represent you? Yes. So when I, okay, so when I walked away, let's just say I pissed a lot of people off, you know, and know. a part of the people was my agency, you know, a part of the people was my agency. So, mm -hmm. but then when I came back, when I came back and determined that, you know, I was going to be training with, with Lance Brobman, that was my coach before. So I came back to the same yeah. coach. I was like, you know, I reached out to the same agency, you know, we let bygones be bygones. And we started, you know, we started, you know, back up. So I'm training. I'm not signed. So if you go back and look at the 2020 USA final, into a yeah. final, I had on the, the blue 2016 and, and the prelims I had on the red 2014 uh, USA outfit. I ain't had no, yeah. I don't, I had on like some spatted up, I think Nike spikes at the time. And because you, you was with Adidas. I was with Adidas right? before. Yeah. yeah. And then when, when you left, Adidas dropped you and then pick you back up. I ain't, yeah, I ain't get picked back up. So when I came back, I was training with Brahman, but I wasn't signed yet. I was just freelancing it. And then I ran indoors. When I ran 649 at USA's, Nike gave us the call. And, you know, that's how I ended up in, you know, that's how that went. So, yeah, uh, I did that. So that, in that period, go ahead. Was there ever a point where you didn't have a representative? No, I've, I've been with the same people, like, since my career started. Yeah, yeah. Like, since, yeah, yeah, since, since I, the very beginning. Yeah, because, you know, for me, it was the same way, you know, and then, like, I, I kind of told Mary Beth, you know, you about to say, I was like, it's more because you're not what I consider, what I call a pure blood, and that means, you know, like, like us, like, we were smashed up, yeah. straight up out that thing, like, I ain't even finished college, when I made the team <laughs> in 03, man, Nike already had an agent in Fuckman, it was like, Tony Campbell, <laughs> yeah. here's your agent, here's okay, your paperwork, see. we'll see you tomorrow in the finals, so I've never experienced that part of now, I've experienced not having a contract, just like you just explained. I've been through those transitions to where I didn't have nobody representing me. But I've never been at a point to, or, or, or a shoe company. I've never been at a point to where I didn't have a, a agent, though. So even when I didn't have, you no, know, you know, when Nike had dropped me, you know, in 2008 and I had to get picked back up, I still was able to travel and make money and had an agent. I'm 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 gonna go. I want to get more in depth with her, and then talk to you know a couple other you know the newcoming track athletes because that's just something I've never heard of. I've heard of athletes not having a shoe right, company shoe for company. Yeah, years, same, yeah, but got an agent, and, and it be nah, like, nah, the, like 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 they don't even make the finals, but they had every track meet that I'm there. Bro. <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, first of all, well, how you even get here? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> And ain't got no shoe company, no nothing. And now it's like, even she said things that I'm like, I'm like, how are y'all even running without an agent? Who's allowing y'all yeah. to take this road literally oh, without wow. the information of knowing this is like the first step? You know what I'm saying? Like, how is that that that, that disconnect? And I'm I, I ain't never seen I ain't never like that. I ain't never seen that. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I ain't never seen somebody that I didn't. Well, personally, I didn't know somebody that had an agent. Like I usually, usually everybody I know, you know, got one. So I ain't never. When I heard, I heard, I heard her say that earlier, and I was like, she ain't no agent. I was like, even you know when she came out the gate, I think I'm somebody. You know, you know, you know how this company is. You know, how this, you know, this business goes. Like, you see when she came out the gate dropping seven. No, I'm surprised somebody didn't reach out and be like, hey, you know, we, hey, hold on, that's kind of you know, that's nice. And then she dropped it again. Hey, let's get you signed on dotted line. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's going somewhere, you know? So I'm surprised mm -hmm. that it didn't happen that quick. I heard her say, you know, she's taking her time, you know, betting the process or whatever, which is the best thing she can do. But, um... Do you, you think know, it's that's... the same thing, like, you know, because me and you've been in the sport long enough, because I told her, I was like, in this game, they don't sign you for indoor. Do you think that's what it is, too, to, uh, like, really well, you ain't made a name outside yet? And, like, you just made a name for yourself last month. So you got to get outside and do that before anybody even take any interest in you. You think that might be a little bit to do with it too? And I won three USA indoor championships back to back to back. <laughs> Let's give a damn about that. <laughs> Let's give a damn about that boy. So no, like people don't be, people don't really be respected. Don't get me wrong. It's like the way she's setting this race up, it looks like she can go out there and do damage. You know what I'm saying? So that's what, yeah. really what people are itching to see. And so it is. It is all about outside, man. Nobody don't care about them. They, they, they don't care about this. They, they um, especially shoe companies. They, like you said, they don't. They don't pay you for indoors. So yeah. it's a reason why the bonus structure and everything is different because mm -hmm. you know it's indoor. Like you said, you no know, indoor Olympics. Maybe if that was an event 
and people took it seriously, they'll put a little bit more money into it. But for right now, man, it's just no. Nah. I've still never understood why the indoor Olympics ain't part of the Winter Olympics. That shit still is mind baffling to me. <laughs> like, I don't know. Nah, that I still would actually that out yet. Like, be a hell of an idea. Like, for real, that'd be, yeah. Uh, like I said, it, it, it's mind baffling that it's not. So that's why I'm like, oh, okay, well. And again, that's why they don't have no respect for it, I, I suppose. All right, before I get off this thing, uh, y'all gonna hop in the sun. Before I get off this thing, I gotta get these people to flow and let them ask whatever questions they want to ask to you. Y'all okay. got, I'm going to give y'all a good four minutes, and then me and Mar are going to wrap it up the last five. So y'all got right. four minutes to drop these questions that y'all want to ask this man starting now. I'm now looking at the screen. Let me repeat what? Quick question. Okay, um, all right. Well, I'm gonna read the first question now because you probably see it. Quick question. <laughs> what that group of situation for track in is worse or better than football? So basically is track group is better or football group is better. Man, that's a question you should know that you know football, man. They'll give it man, listen. <laughs> they don't this is not the same. It is not the same. I trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. Not yeah, even nah. close. Wait, wait, wait. That so. In track, you don't have to have no girl sign no NDA before they come hang out, nor do you got to hide your phone. You you need we need them phones. Sign right here. <laughs> so that answers that question for him, for you. Uh, Kevin said, can a coach act as your agent? That's a good question. The coach can act as your agent. The only problem with that, Calvin, is the meat promoters aren't going to respect your coach as an agent. But he can act that one. <laughs> but yeah, he's not yeah. taking those agents. Anybody can be an agent. <laughs> yeah. right. Right. I mean, he, can, he can do all. He can do the email and the calls and everything. But every agent who's in connection with that meat promoter, they getting them lanes. Your coach ain't going to get nothing. Good question, though. Uh, somebody asked, are you running the 200 this season? Yeah, actually, I want to open up. I talked to. I'm talking. I'm, talk, I'm trying to convince Randy to let me open up the season with a 200 because, like I said, man, I ain't running like eight years. So and I've been training real good. You know, I came in. I came in training real good. Like you know, doing 200 stuff at at the beginning, and it's been looking good. So I'm hoping he let me run one or two. Who? who if you and Trayvon went head up right now in 200, who win? I'm a goddamn boy right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get that boy right now. Hey, hey, I tell you what, I ain't gonna do. I ain't gonna put no dollar on you, though. Nah, that, <laughs> nah, that man, he's he a sneaker, though, because the man, the man, don't be not he a sneaker, though. You got you gotta watch that. You gotta watch that kid. You gotta watch him. I know. He's he, he, he a he sneaker. Now. He's now. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know where I'm gonna put my dollar at on this race between y'all two, man. I'm already the hole on you, mom. You got double, I told you, double down, double down. <laughs> hey, hey, all right, let me see who else got. Ask Bracey if he, okay. Ask Bracey if he meddling, can he go 9 7? Where's his cousin, Kermit Whitfield? He said, okay, am I meddling? Yes. Yeah. I, I intend on meddling, absolutely, 100%. Uh, can I go 9 7? Absolutely. You know, I ran 9 8 into a negative win last year, so I would like to thank, you know, catch the right day. You know who knows, and then he said, "Was my cousin Kermit Whitfield?" Yeah, that's my that's my cousin. Yeah. Oh, I thought he said where. Oh, where? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's back. He back. He back at the crib. Um, I mean, they finished start the USFL, so I think he's uh, I think he's a part of that. I don't know for sure though. Okay. 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 Um, Marvin, last question: Will the USA sweep the hundred in Eugene? I would love to come out here and just be like, yeah, but listen, they got that damn Canadian. <laughs> listen. <laughs> I know you say, this is Canadian I train with, right? <laughs> the man, the man, the man, he find a way. So we made, we made a joke about that. Like, if you want a medal, you got to beat the grass. Like, he's going to get one. So, like, if you, like, you got to beat him. So, I mean, I would love to say that, but, you know, that'd be taken, that'd be taken, you know, away from that man's, you know, ability to in the finals of every, he just find a way. So whether it's third, shit, he he gonna be there. You know, so I would love to say we were sweet, 
But, I mean, all I can do is go in and do what I got to do, you know, come up with mine because, you know. Last year when Ray's take started, y'all know I do my big board and all that. What you were saying is exactly what I kept saying last year. He ain't even ran yet. And I'm like, oh, give a damn he ain't ran yet. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, some way, based off statistics, he going to be on that podium in both of them. Why? He done did it every damn time. <laughs> like, if you plan on going on that podium, I truly, I'm with you. If you plan on getting on that podium, it has to go through that Canadian. Yeah, you, you got to You got to respect him for that. You that's gotta, the only reason why yeah, I'm yeah, like, nah, the can't sweep because to say that, you would have to say the grass is he can't beat three Americans. I can't say that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, and can't nobody say that. So Listen, respectfully, I, no, no. Now, can y'all go two out of three and he get the other? Yeah, I think. Yeah, I listen. I, oh, I'm, sure. just, I'm I just, I'm just getting him. No, I'm just, I'm just getting him, man, giving him this all, giving his respect. You know, man. Like after you know training yeah. with him and seeing how he work and seeing how he is, man. You just, you tip your hat out to the guy. You know, he always, yeah. he always, like I said, I, I tweeted right after it happened. I said it's three things in life for certain: death, taxes, and the grass don't find a way to get up there. Like he gonna, uh-huh. he look gonna here. do look it. Look though. Don't know how. Don't know. Well, we know how because it's all right. uphill. But then I can't tell everybody. Look. Certain people are just like they say. You got playoff. You know, you got playoff Kobe, playoff LeBron. You know, playoff Mike. You got playoff Tom. You got championship Degrassi. Don't matter what he do all season long. You better respect him when you get to that championship. <laughs> <laughs> you you got thank them ten twos. He was running was out there just like oh he ain't ready. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get out here and lay on. Man. <laughs> hey. no, I, respect, I respect that boy, man. Hey, all right, brother. I ain't going to hold you. You know it's always good talking to you all here, man. And we'll be on. I supposed to start my session in like 13 minutes ago, and everybody looking at me right now. <laughs> no, I, uh, man, no, I appreciate you having me, dog. Eight people in the gym looking at me. But, you know, we, they respect me and respect you and everything we're doing, so. The one thing no. I want to say before we get off here, as always, man, I, I appreciate you. Um, as always, just from, from one brother to another, just from our backgrounds, everything that we've been through and did. I'm overly proud of you, overly proud of you, because you hit that high, then that valley, and then that low underneath the valley, and then you came right back up. And in track and field, that's one of the hardest things to do because a lot of people, once they hit that valley, you ain't got no money, you ain't got no love, you ain't got nothing. So where, <laughs> yeah. where is it going to come from to have enough to get back up? And you showcase literally that. You showcase like, now I'm I'm great. And I try and tell people a lot of time, we got to stop um, we got to stop putting greatness on the fact that you got to be number one to be great. No, no, no. You ain't got to be number one to be great. Your career alone can determine if you are great. To me, I feel like you are and have to be in the conversation with the greats. I don't give a damn about medals. I tell people all the time, like, medals sometimes is that date. If you race again next week, that whole top three might change in that medal. <laughs> yeah. I look at your career to the, like, I talk to you all the time. Charles Barkley is a prime example. He has zero, zero wing, rings. But you would not say that he is the one of the greatest basketball players of all time. I like to tilt my hat off to you because you showed that. Because when you came back, even me, I was like, oh, he done. He ain't been doing that. I'm telling you now. Like, I was like, my boy, but Marvin didn't do nothing. But then you did it. And then you did it again. And then even when I was like, last year, I was like, oh, he do it, daddy, in Miramar. You was like, okay. And you went into Europe and did it again. I was like, well, y'all, y'all know what I say. See, I can't fight. I gotta leave him alone. He came back. So Man, I commend sure you for that. You know I'm pulling for you when you get on to the world champs. I'm That's praying right. for you. Love you. Hey, right, tell these folks whatever you want to tell them because I'm gonna shut this thing off. Oh no, nah, I mean, I appreciate you. Yeah, nah, pre- <laughs> We're gonna see. We're gonna see. But now nah, I, mean, I appreciate you having me, dog. It's always an honor to come on here. Pretty sure we'll probably speak after after you know after Serbia. And uh, I look forward to talking to you. I appreciate your words, like real spill, man. I appreciate that. And you know, man, I'm just happy to be here. I'm just happy to be, I'm excited to be racing again, you know, running again and to go and you know take care of this business. So, you know, I'm definitely I'll get back with you. All right. 
We'll I talk. Know. Well, you know, we're going to talk on the back phone anyway, but we'll yes, talk sir. after Serbia because, like I say, you either going to have to come on and talk about why you lost or how you won. You oh, yeah. know <laughs> You got to come on in. Yeah, come on. And I'm not playing you, with you and Mary Beth about my 50 cents. No, nah, I got you. I got you. Double down, dog. Double down. <laughs> All right, brother. You have a good night, y'all. All right, dog. You too, man. All right. All right, y'all. We out of here. I got to get to work. Y'all got me late. I don't know where none Jerry Jeremy Warner at. He ain't even in here helping me, y'all. Y'all think I'm playing? He in there somewhere. He say he working, y'all. He say he working. He probably in there watching Eternals or Superman or Avengers. He likes to do that. I do too, by the way. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all later.